I need to make a correction to the information that was given in this video a few days ago. Now I wanted to make this video in the first place as I'd seen claimed online that if a person was exposed to blood from a HIV or hepatitis infected individual in this way, then their risks of contracting hepatitis would be one in three and for HIV, one in 300, which I thought was a massive overstatement. That's why I mentioned that those numbers would only apply if somebody were getting direct exposure like a needle stick injury with blood to blood contact. That's why I also said in my video that dried up blood like this would be very unlikely to contain the HIV or hepatitis viruses. But I didn't go far enough as yes, of course, nobody wants to use toilet paper with blood on it, even if they don't get infected with a virus. But I was wrong to say that it was still possible to get HIV or hepatitis like this. As there have been zero cases of HIV or hepatitis transmission in this way, I'll do everything in my power to make sure future videos are accurate. And I apologize for the error and those affected. 